Is anybody here from Staten Island, New York? Yeah. Yeah. Jennifer. For too long, people who came here from Liberia during the times of terrible troubles and have established roots here and have become strong fibers in the fabric of the American cloth, if you will, of American society, should not be torn out from that cloth uh, and sent home against their will. My name is Lorita Besme Yates. I've been in the struggle for the past, uh, let's say, 19 years. Since our classes started in Liberia, we've been working hard to bring peace to our country. We finally got peace. We left for the war. Nobody can go there. Right. You got nothing there. Right. Everybody so died. So we run away with the key, yeah? The people come to me. They want to give you the paper. We say now. What was just granted recently was again a temporary reprieve, a temporary status. We are really looking forward to that day that our people who are on this temporary status will be granted uh, legal permanent residency in America. You owe you, oh, you can't do for the difficult. You can't able to do nothing for yourself. If you know how to write and read, it's hard to lay in the quality. But when God go with you, it's easy. And I think I made a promise to you that I was going to make sure that you don't fall through the cracks. Now, you, and I'm, whether you like it or not, I'm going to keep my promise to you. Getting kids to pass the courses is, is, is half the battle. The thrill of the job for me and the satisfaction of the job for me is making real differences in the lives of, of, of kids. Besides teaching these children how to dance, the need was beyond dance. These kids were struggling academically. They were struggling um, socially. They were struggling emotionally. As a immigrant to this country, I am sensitive to the challenges that immigrants have, whether they're coming from West Africa or they're, or they're coming from Eastern Europe. The immigrants have very, very similar challenges. And there were so many complaints about the children. You know, the kids are not serious, the kids are not in school, the kids are dropping out. I felt like they was portraying these children as bad, as not serious, as they don't have any dreams or vision. Our problem on Park is, Park Hill is, you know what the problem is? I would say in my own sense of understanding, illiteracy. Mutual understanding, formal and informal. Well, uh, Liberians here, uh, specifically on Staten Island, uh, have uh, many uh, issues that uh, we are addressing collectively as a community. Because of lack of patronage for our people, it's very, very difficult to stay in business if your business solely re uh, rely on a Liberian, on Liberian to patronize it. It's kind of difficult. As soon as you come from here, they believe that you have all resources that you can survive on to do anything. So at the end of the day, whether you was, you was, a, you was a store boy out here or you was a sweeper out here, they don't care. Or they know you have all the money because you came from America. Oh, yes, America is a good country. You live here and you get to uh, you, 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 you get food every day you work, but the problem the bills. Because as you work, the money you all the bills. Maybe if you save, maybe you, you save maybe two. Even if you save hundred dollars, then you are lucky.
their lives on on an everyday basis. Uh, as you, you want to know, Liberia has just returned from war, and uh, the people are destitute. And they are starving for survival. I think it's a combination of both. But because uh, the thought was to ensure that women come together to bring, to just empower, empower themselves, to empower girls, to empower the youth. Right now, what we want on the university campus is better learning environment. We need improved uh, library. We need recent materials in our lab and library so that our students can be the best and they get adjusted with international standard. Coming from war, universities, particularly the University of Liberia, is to take the lead. So we want the students to be assiduous with their lesson first and foremost. The extracurriculum activities can be paid attention to, but that should not supersede. And let's be law abiding. The medical department, um, through Dr. Brisbane and I, realized that we had cases that were suspicious of our immunosuppression secondary to HIV. We actually started antiretroviral therapy in JFK, November 2006. Yes, especially treatment, we have not gone anywhere. The system will certainly need support. <laughs>